that. So California has been having a really bad heat wave lately. It's pretty bad. Once again, our jujube tree is going crazy. Got so much fruit. Also got avocados. There are so many avocados. It's kind of dripping down because it's so heavy now. We also got passion fruit. Got oranges or greens. Luscious mint. Pretty chives. Green onion. Potatoes. Tomatoes. I don't know who planted this. I think it was the squirrels. Got some jalapenos. Bell peppers. And last but not least, Thai peppers. Just got done with work and this is what it looks like. Our dining table slash working table. <laughs> Even though we do have an office, but it's really just a rabbit's room. Hello. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Come here, come here, come here. Good boy. Thank you, House, for sponsoring today's video. Today, I want to show you guys my new favorite drink house. It's an aperitif. You typically have it before a meal or with an appetizer. They are made with real ingredients like fruits, herbs, and botanicals, which are all labeled in the back of each bottle. And they only have about a third of the alcohol as gin or whiskey, so that means less hangovers. I've been really liking the bitter cloves, so if you're into whiskey or amaro, this is your drink. I like having it neat or on the rocks. And here is citrus flower. This is one of their best sellers, and I see why. It's got like this light, lemony flowery flavor this one is great for mixing i like having it with juice i had it with some juice and some club soda and it was these are great before a meal whenever you're chilling at home or when you have guests over the bottle looks super cool too so it would be great to bring over to a friend's house and the ordering process online is super easy straightforward and gets delivered straight to your door if you're interested the first 100 people to purchase the house essentials kit which comes with these two right here can get ten dollars off and free shipping with our code i'll leave everything down in the description down below so you guys can check that out and please let me know if you guys like it because i've been really enjoying these myself so thank you house for sponsoring this video i'm going to make a a little drink right now and then get to making lunch got some ice the bitter clove like i said i really like having this either neat or on the rocks but the citrus flower i really like this one mix i did pear juice and club soda the other day but today i'm gonna make it with some grapefruit italian soda do a little taste test for you guys let me try this one first mmm Wow, this one's really good. If you squeeze like some lime in this or some lemon, that would be great. Mm-hmm. Bitter clove, if you like whiskey. I don't love whiskey, but I do like this one. It's like very warm. It tastes like star anise. It's just really fragrant and good. Legit. I hope it tastes good. He was cooking up a storm. I had no idea what he was making and this looks amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, I was feeling carbs right now too. Mm. Mm. It's nice and light. 
Our friend did us a solid, so little care package for him. Hello. So our friend Isaac got a new rooftop tent. That looks amazing. I think it's all metal. Wow. And I think he just installed the bumper too. Wow. This looks so good. So they had to cut the bumper here. All this cut up and uh, install this steel part. Wow, this car looks crazy right now. If you guys need any work done on your cars, and I mean anything, Phil does it all. Our Land Cruiser has been here many, many times. He fabricates, he makes everything. Um, he just made a rear bumper tow hitch tire carrier. I don't know if I'm explaining it right. Here in San Gabriel, Free zones. Oh yeah, this is roast meat actually. Yeah, it's like borderline. He also uh, grows basil. That that goes in the hitch, right? Yeah. That goes in the hitch. The tire goes here, and this swings down because you want to open the trunk, right? Is that what it? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. See, I, I, I could work here now, bro. Yeah. If you need somebody. It's like a doggy dig. <laughs> Okay. She's so happy. They do. Even at the park, they were like dying to play. They were hanging out, but they were all weak. Who is that? She's tired. Checo. Hey. What are you? I haven't seen you in the one. She probably wants water. I think that's why she keeps going in. What are you making? Broccoli. Again. How many times do you think you eat that every every week? Oh, I didn't know you were born. Maybe like three or four. Do you always make it the same way or do you? Exactly the same way. And I'm very particular too. I won't let Wall make it for me because I like it exactly the way I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm a chef, you know? Made a sundabuchige from CBD Tofu House. Those are amazing. They're like these instant uh, packets that you buy at the grocery store. And all you do is Add everything. It's got the tofu and the soup broth inside. Wow, you weren't hungry. No, no, no. Come on, what? We are heading out to grab some food right now to Art and Fish in downtown LA. Whaley said they had a really good vegetarian poke bowl. We've been having really weird weather here in California. I know in the Bay Area there was a huge, huge lightning. We are at the water station refilling our water. They had alkaline water, which I wanted to ask you all because I feel like I've just heard mixed things about water. I watched the show on Netflix. The guy said he's like a water expert and he said that any type of spring water or natural water is essentially just filtered tap water. I had no idea before and he didn't talk about alkaline water so I do wonder if it's necessary to pay for alkaline water. I don't know so I would like to know for my water experts out there. In case you're wondering on my lips I pretty much only wear this color. This is from Glossier. I think this is their generation Z lipstick and I have it in the color cake. When I use it I use it very sparingly so I'm not swiping it across. I'm really just tapping it and that's it. So it just gives a very, very natural look. So we're going to Chipotle instead. <laughs> Arden Fish is closed, so we're just gonna go get Chipotle because Wall has a gift card. Did you miss us? <laughs> why, why did you yell at your sister? Jeez. We just came home to an amazing package from Omni. Here's a coconut matcha. This one is, uh, I think this one is just cold brew. And then this one is coconut. Thank you guys from Omni. In my bowl, I got barbacoa. I was kind of bummed out that they didn't have enough black beans. Like he literally put like a quarter of a spoon and I was like, that's all you got? And he was like, oh, they're cooking it in the bag. We don't mind waiting. And I was like, no, I see a little bit under there. You can scoop, scoop a little more. Oh. Wow, it's really good. Oh wow. Very simple ingredients too, just cold brew coffee and sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna try the coconut matcha. I usually don't like coconut milk, so 
we'll see how I like this one. I just prefer like almond or soy or oat usually, so we'll see. I don't really taste the matcha. <clears throat> it's nice. I feel like the texture is nice. It's more of just my own preference because I don't like coconut. Coconut milk is just so strong that it overpowers any other flavor. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm not tasting as much matcha as I would like. No, just like when I sweet. get um, coconut milk ice cream, I feel like I can never really taste the mm -hmm. flavor, like yeah. vanilla or whatever it may be, because all I taste is the coconut. So mm -hmm. that's kind of how I feel about this one. Yeah. But if you like coconut, I think this you'll enjoy bomb. it. Yeah. Thick and smooth and right amount of sweetness. Same for this one. Sometimes Vietnamese coffees can be way too sweet. This sweetness is perfect. I always forget that we have, where I have this feature in my car. You basically can connect your car to the app and you can climatize the car before you go in. So it gets it to a comfortable temperature. Normally when I get in my car on a hot day because the car is black, it's so, so hot. I actually only have five months left to my lease. I can't believe how fast time flew. It's been a good three years, but I am ready to just not have this car anymore, especially right now with the pandemic. We really just don't need an extra car. So this is what we came here for. I just wanted more of these kind of freeze dried meals um, or dehydrated meals for when we go camping, just so that we have. And these are also just good to have in your house for emergencies. So these are some new flavors that I haven't tried before. It's a savory one, organic from Patagonia. And then this mango sticky rice, which I thought was interesting. And then back here, this is the Cuban coconut rice and black beans. They don't have my favorite brand, which is good to go. They're all sold out. So I'll just have to try these and see how I like it. We are at H Mart grabbing some groceries. I really don't know what to get because I'm just really tired of everything we've been cooking. So trying to think of what else we can make just to switch it up. Thank. Hello. Stay calm. It's okay. You're fine in there. Okay, now you may come out. All right. Okay, money. Come. Great job. Oh, oh. Whoa. Money, go get him. So cute. Once she gets here, it's super cute. Okay, go. Watch how she hops right here. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was fast. <laughs> really? She jumped from down here from up here. Uh huh. All the way down so that her arms went back and she hit her. That's Nabi. This is her everyday routine. At least a few times a day. Michi. Oh, 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 wow. Giving kisses. Whoa. Hi. Did you miss us? Did you miss us? Oh, wow. This face is just so precious. The cake has a delicious banana flavor. Big fan of the caramel, even the bitterness. I agree. I want more of it. This seaweed is the best. Tonight I just made these Korean rice bowls. This is a bibimbap. Zucchini, mushrooms, carrots, and then I put a dollop of the gochujang, which is the spicy paste. And then I fried an egg and added seaweed. 